Hello and welcome friends. This is a new case of correlation or other linear correlation. In many of the examinations the question has been covered. The question is assumed means for x it is 41 and for y it is 32. Total of deviations taken from assumed mean minus 170 minus 20. Uh, let us uh, write everything for these two. Assuming for x we know it as a 41 and assuming of y we know it as b. Total of deviations taken from assumed mean. Total of deviations taken from assumed mean. Total of deviations taken from assumed mean. That means for x it is sigma x minus a. We know it by sigma u. That is minus 170. Similarly for y. Total of deviations taken from assumed mean. For y the deviations from assumed mean means y minus b. We know it as sigma v. That is minus 20. Since the deviations are not the deviations taken from arithmetic mean, the total must be non-zero. Only in case of deviations taken from arithmetic mean, the total can be zero. Here total of in both the cases are negative. That means we can say that in both the cases, the assumed means are greater than arithmetic mean. But that fact has no value in this, in the solution of this case. Next is, Total of squares of deviations taken from assumed mean. Total of squares of deviations taken from assumed mean. That means for x it is x minus a the whole square. That is nothing but sigma u square. It is 8180. Similarly squares of deviations taken from assumed mean for y is y minus b the whole square. That is sigma v square and it is given to be 2290. The next thing is total of products means multiplications. Total of products of deviations taken from assumed mean. Total of products of the deviations. Products of the deviations taken from assumed mean. So for x it is x minus a, y it is y minus b. Product of deviations means x minus a into y minus b and its summation that is sigma uv and that is given to be 3480 and number of observations means n 10. Now we have all five summations and n so we can calculate coefficient of correlation by r or my favorite formula Coefficient of correlation between x and y will be exactly equal to coefficient of correlation between u and v. The formula will be n sigma uv minus sigma u into sigma v upon under root n sigma u square minus sigma u the whole square into under root n sigma v square minus sigma v the whole square. Let us substitute the values n is 10. Sigma uv is 3480 minus sigma u is minus 170 sigma v is minus 20 upon under root n is 10 sigma u square is 2290 minus sigma u the whole square is minus 170 square into under root n is 10 sigma v square is sorry sigma u square was 8180 I'm very sorry sigma v square is 2290 minus sigma v that is minus 20 the whole square see the values are very large take or try to take utmost care 34,800 minus. Now minus 170 into minus 20. The result will be 0. But this sign of 
negativity stands due to the sign in formula minus 170 into minus 20 that will be positive 3400 okay upon under root 8180 into 10 81800 minus 170 square that will be 28900 because 17 square is 289 and square of single zero is double zero into under root 10 into 2290 22900 and square of minus 20 will be 400 yes arithmetic calculations gives us the result first 31400 34800 minus 3000 is 31800 and minus 400 similarly into under root <coughs> 81800 minus 28900 the result will be 52900 into under root 22900 minus 400 is 22500 so ultimately 31400 divided by into under root 52900 the square root will be 230 and similarly 22500 the square root will be 150 see 520 is the square of 23 and 225 is the square of 15 double zero the square root will be single zero 31400 divided by 34500 so the coefficient of correlation between x and y is equal to coefficient of correlation between u and v comes to 0.91 partially positive correlation or say high degree partially positive correlation is there between the two variables thank you very much